So let's run that back another time. And then after that, we'll switch over to the Hate Bears deck. Um, there's a Mono White Hate Bears deck that I've been wanting to try a little bit more and more. They're pretty sweet. They have, they have to work a little bit harder for their wins, but because they don't have those obscene victories that we can get. Um, and then... Uh, but they also don't get the the you know they don't have the lows the lows that we have either. Okay, this hand's got one land, not good enough for us to keep, unfortunately. If it had one more land, this hand would have been nuts. But I can't do it. This hand we will keep. We'll keep. We will definitely put that on top. And why don't we start off with a little, uh, a little turn one chalice? And let's see, uh, let's see what our opponent's got going on after that. You need more Jeskai? <laughs> we can play Jeskai on Sunday when you are over. That's what you wanted, right? Oh my gosh, they have ancestral visions. Alright. We would like to hit Tron. <laughs> I'm a monster. <laughs> Get rid of their Jace. <laughs> oh, and people, people should never question why I'm a Tron player. <laughs> <laughs> oh, goodbye, Tron. Do not fret. We've got another fun. Oh my gosh. <laughs> All right, we'll go to combat. See if they want to do the tap down. Yeah, they do. Oh, I was supposed to, I, I clicked past my land. I swear, I, I have more issues <laughs> with clicking past steps on Moto. Uh, oh my gosh. That was bad. Okay. Well, they've got a completely reloaded hand. Let's go to combat and see what they got for us. Are they just running Snapcaster in front of one of our dudes? Unfortunate. We would have been able to get another three points of damage in there. There's a terminus. Mm -mm -mm. So we could chalice for pretty much whatever we want right now. We could hit four to go after the cryptics and the jaces. Uh, we could do five for Teferi. I think four is pretty solid. What do you guys think about what we should hit right now? Two gets to hit their snaps as well. They're already down two cryptics and a Jace. We could go after zero 
and go for the ancestral visions, but that doesn't seem really worth it. Um, unless we hit, if we do go for four, though, unless we hit a, um, a caverns, the other thought knots in our deck are going to be offline. It seems like the best bet is just to go crazy with the chalice on four, right? the fact that our opponent's uh, username is I would like to respond and they're, and they're just a blue white control player. <laughs> oh my gosh. I have a love-hate relationship with my life right now. <laughs> Uh. Man, oh man. Oh, this is just for colorless creatures, not colorless non land permanents. It's gonna be really sad if this is why we lose. We need to draw something this turn. That is not something. Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh. Oh. I'm so sad with life. So sad with life. <laughs> uh, okay. Okay. Alright, so I like to bring in Pithing Caverns. Um, relics do not seem bad here. Ratchet Bomb's a good catch all for them. Um, we can go the Crucible route too, because they're going to be Field of Ruining us. Um, and then we'll be able to do it to them as well. So those all seem pretty good. Um, so like we could warping whale their terminus, but that doesn't really seem worth it. Um, you guys think this is a this is a deck we go Emrakul on, huh? Huh? We bring it in for the chance that we get to the really long game, we can blow them out. I'm glad you guys are on the same game plan I am. <laughs> uh, I don't think I care too much about Ballista right now. And I think I'm... I do want to keep the the chalices in. But I'm good with cutting out some of that. We're going to go higher on the land count as well here. Relic isn't worth it. You don't think... You don't think so? We could do that, that, bring back in the spirit guys. So you're thinking then? If you don't think the relics are worth it? Bring in both spirit guys, go back down to 24 lands. We don't really need the life here for the colorless creature. You know, it's not that relevant. The other card that, you know, piques my interest would be Ugin, just for another planeswalker that we can drop and make them. Um... Okay. Then let's run it this way. This hand's pretty awkward. We could go Expedition Map turn two, but then we'd have to blow a Spirit Guide for um, to crack the map. 
Oh, <laughs> uh, this hand does not seem worth it. This hand's also especially not worth it. I guess we'll keep this hand at this point. I just want our first hand back now. <laughs> oh boy. Negate cryptic. I guess snap is the best bet here, right? Go path us, we'll go get a land. Run out a ratchet bomb. Because they still have a cryptic right now, and I don't want to just run the smasher into that. They decided to go for the tower instead of the temple, which is pretty good for us. Well, opponent, that makes our smasher look pretty dumb. to get we got a spell snare a cryptic and the gate we'll take the cryptic run out another ratchet bomb this is not looking good folks pretty risky here we don't have a th um, the ability to really get to the smashers really well and Ulamog's in our hand so this is basically a mold of six anyway um, so I think we're better off just going uh, fresh six as a result 
I think we'll keep this hand. We've got a turn two chalice, and then we've also got Ballista, Reshaper, and Thana, which are much more reasonable to get to. We'll ship the All Is Dust to the bottom, run that out, and ship it over. Alrighty, let's see if a chalice on one is good enough for our opponent. Ooh, Valica. We really need a land. But our deck gave us a Simeon Spirit Guide. Well, we're not going to just make fun of our deck for not giving us that. Obviously, they wanted us to play the Matter Reshaper this turn. Ooh, do they have a Simeon Spirit Guide? Yeah, they do! <laughs> oh, they're gonna through the breach. Titan. What are you gonna get, opponent? Are you gonna get two Valakuts? Sure. Mm-mm-mm. We're taking a bunch. Primeval's gonna hit us real hard. We will block. We'll put Chalice on the battlefield. We can Ghost Quarter Valakut, then Ghost Quarter Valakut. And leave us with um, pretty much nothing. Hmm. The Ghost Quarter stomping around, they get to kill us, so we can't do that. If we Ghost Quarter Valakut, we get hit for three, then get rid of the other one. We'll take them off a turn. Oh my gosh. Through the breach. Oh man. We're dying to secure tri builder. Okay. So we want to play the warping whales here. For sure. Ballistas are pretty bad. If we get up to Emrakul mana, that'd be cool, but that seems pretty unlikely. Spellskite's a fine addition to bring in. We might be able to catch him with the Pithing Needle. But it's pretty rough. The Crucible Lock is pretty hard to do against them, but we could try to go for it. Yeah, but if you could, like... That like like violates the game's rules, right? Like you're responding to, um, in the middle of a spell, like that wouldn't be cool. So let's take those out. All is dust is also pretty bad. I guess I'd rather take the the Emrakul over the other all is dust because that's just not gonna do anything in this matchup generally. So let's go this route. Eh. 
Okay. Let's keep this. So we could just blindly pithing needle a wooded foothills here. And I'm not against that. I, I think that's fine. There's a chance we're just going to catch him off guard. Or we can name Sakura Tribe Elder, which seems more reasonable. But I feel like the ability to possibly lock them out. And they're both a... Um, they're both four in the deck, right? Like... Yeah, let's do that. And we'll just pass it over. Suspended search. We can run out the map and we can Simeon Spirit Guide to fetch it up. a bail off. So end bringer. Summoner's packed. Man. Oh, they're just hard casting it. That's actually a little bit better for us, I guess. I guess we'll blow up the Valakut now. That way they can't go get two mountains and kill our Endbringer or force us to use up our spell skype. They can only send three damage one way. Because we hit the Valakar. <clears throat> and we'll pay two life for that. Crucible's not bad here. We can Crucible and Ghost Quarters and try to start hitting those. We can prevent the Primeval Titan from attacking as well. Let's draw a card. Alright, let's moment. Oh my gosh! I just clicked the Eldrazi Temple out of reaction. Mmm. Okay. We should have a Ghost Quarter in play.
Setting both of them already at spell skype, that's fine. Spell skype will die. And we'll make their primeval titan not able to attack. And we will take four. Ghost Quarter. We will draw a card. Thought that's okay. A Sakura and a Sacred Foundry. Ghost Quarter, the Valakut now, they only get one trigger. Seems good. I guess we'll wait for their draw. Alright, we'll ship it over. On their draw, we'll hit the Valakut. I just realized I was incorrect because they get to do the three damage this turn and then play their Sacred Foundry. That was that was a punt. a punt. We might have just cost us this game by doing that. Oh my gosh, I cannot believe we did that. I cannot believe I did that. Oh. Oh, I can ghost quarter of Alicut. Their primeval time will still be able to fetch up everything. Thought not. Oh my gosh. That was just careless. So I can Ghost Quarter now. They do no damage. They swing with Primeal Titan and Bail off. Go fetch up another Valak Hut. Shoot us for three. We go to seven. Um, we could create a token with the Warping Whale, block the Bail off, and then the Primeval Titan hits us for two. We'd go to five? Ugh. Not a fan. Disappointed with myself. Quite a bit right there. Alright, so I guess we'll chalice on zero here. And we'll pass it over. Should have thought about that line clearer. Hmm. Interesting. If they're just gonna go that way, we'll just chump block, I guess. Go to four.
Oh, are they thinking this way? Oh, I got it. They're they're gonna fetch up the Valakut now, and then they can activate the Wooded Foothills, and then kill us. Oh no, they just don't have another one. Well, we can't double block the Primeval Titan with a Thought Knot to stay alive, unfortunately. So we have to do this and go to two. They can draw two cards, which is pretty devastating. Are they killing us now after all this? They really just don't have another what if, another Valakon? Do they only play three? Can we hit an uh nothing? Alright, that's game. Oh. Yeah, we definitely could have taken over that game. Ugh. Oh, okay. That's... I gotta get past that. So yeah, if we would have um, sequenced that properly with the Ghost Quarter, we would have been able to prevent the Primeval Titan from ever attacking. And then we would have been drawing two cards every turn. And then eventually we could have gotten rid of all their threats, play out all our threats, win the game. But uh, we didn't do that. And we didn't get to go to game three as a result. So... No bueno. has a pretty decent hand. We'll keep this. Um, we can run out our Thought Knot early if we want. And otherwise we can also play the Matter Reshape Return 2 and see if we just hit a, um, a land for Thought Knot naturally. But we've got another Simeon Spirit Guide, so uh, let's go ahead and just run out Thought Knot. Alright, Logic Knot, Jace, all of that. Um, so let's just take care of the Logic Knot, because that's the only thing they're going to play on turn two that we care about. And then our other Thought Knot can take care of whatever's left from that. Play the other Thought Knot, rip another card out of their hand, most likely that's Settle, and then just pressure them a ton. That, or we can go Expedition Map, and then crack it using Simeon and Eldrazi Temple, go ahead and get another Temple, and next turn play Thought Knot. I think the tons of pressure is worth it. We're just going to take their Settle beat on in. Map. 
and we'll pass it over. Fetch up a temple. Another combat. for the tap or are they trying to think about if they want to do a bounce to them. Let's go combat. Swing everything at them. I'm expecting a helix. You know? Battlefield. Run out another temple. Pass it over. Now, if our opponent doesn't do anything about our temples here, we're going to be able to run out Ulamog, which will be pretty cool. That works too. So, let's go combat. Let's see what our opponent's up to. Yeah, 
is another tap down. Snapcaster Helix. Oh, Snapcaster Cryptic. Okay, sure. So they'll tap our team down, draw a card, and then we'll go after their Jace and Teferi. play the other caverns here now uh, Blake they're on just guys so would you say that graph diggers and relics more worthwhile here So I think I want to bring in the spell sky, um, the graph digger, not the graph, yeah, the graph diggers and the relic, and then um, the other caverns here. Um, I think I'm gonna trim one land. I'm not really sure if I want to trim the tomb though. It seems okay for some extra life gain because they can turn the corner pretty well. So maybe we'll take out a ghost quarter and run it this way. Possibly take out uh, an all his dust, bring in this Emrakul. I really want to cast this Emrakul, I'll be honest with you guys. Yeah, we did see Logic Nod, we exiled it. <clears throat> we might want to bring in this uh, Crucible. I actually want to, uh, I'm, I'm lying, I want to keep the all this dust. They're on a lot of Planeswalkers. I'm, I'm not really sure when this uh, Emrakul comes in, to be honest. Um, these games can take a good chunk of time, but still. Got a turn one chalice, not much else, but I think that's good enough to keep. Especially with them going to six. We got a lot of targets against Just Guy. Oof, or do we want to run out the Graph Digger's Cage? Nah, I, I think this is. This is worth it for a guarantee. All right, we just need to hit some lands. lands goodbye mine we're so gonna die at this right Come on, give me that land luck. I just want to land. Ah. Mm. 
Mm, opponent, click us. Send any of this away. I don't even care. Any of it away. Any of it away. Do it. We sent away that Ulamog in particular. Oh, they targeted themselves. That's so rude. <gasps> We've got to land. Hello, Matter Reshaper. Yeah, they may be non-standard lists, but you know, you gotta take the advice with what you can with it, because uh, otherwise you're just running blind anyway, so I'd rather work with any information that we could possibly pull from rather than just not any information at all, right? This isn't good. That Teferi is gonna be a big deal. It's a flip Jace as well. It's a good thought not. It's a green verdict. She would recommend game three at this point. Yeah, you're not wrong. But look, we've got a land now. This land. Oh boy. Alright, we'll run out the matter reshaper. See if they want to counter it. Well, they've got two counters. slower clock. Oh boy, the disallow. Alrighty, if we had a temple here exactly we can get a smasher, but that still doesn't mean anything because we'll just die. Cryptic, I mean a uh, ghost quarter here lets us live for one more turn. Mm-mm. Yeah, I guess we can just concede here. We'll listen to Gorby. Alright, let's run this back. Okay. 
Got a turn two thought knot with a temple. Okay. We will keep this. I guess it could have been a turn one, but I don't want to be too greedy. Yeah. I bet you it's going to be like we should have gone did a turn one. Oh no, yes. Okay. J Snap Cryptic Teferi. Snap's not that big of a deal with where we're at. Maybe taking the J so they don't draw as much. The Cryptic's their only counter. Hmm. Your advice would have saved us a whole five minutes. Let's take the. Hmm. Have, let's take the Jace here. Oh, they have a cryptic axe and I clicked that away. the simian we have to hit it this turn otherwise they have a um, a cryptic next turn okay so that's the land let's swing in Click themselves. And they're shipping their Teferi. Battlefield. Land. Five, six. And pass it over. We're going for the cryptic tap. All right, tap draw. So we will respond and draw a card. Okay. Run that out. Run out of map. Pass it over. I want to draw a card. Over. 
cool. Got that match. Run it again. Sorry, my phone's blowing up. Well, it works always fun. Alrighty. <clears throat> so, this hand is... We're on the draw, but we have the turn to Chalice. The Chalice better pay off. <laughs> oh, this is Burn. What is this? He did. Uh, yeah, I uh, I sent him my feedback. I'd like to get my... Uh, if I'm going to do the thing, I'd like to have the logo just all over the whole... Um... Ooh, is this like an Emissary Bushwhacker deck? Um, well, the chalice on one would have been dope. Um, yeah, I'd like to have the, if I'm going to have that, I think I'd rather have the logo just over the entire background and then do, um, do the, uh, Swish, uh, gaming or Swish, Team Swish logo somewhere else. Um, that way it's kind of like the centerpiece to everything. Okay, they're conceding. Alright, so it definitely seems like a really aggressive deck here. So, um, I think we're good to bring in the Warping Whales. And the Spatial Contortions. Bring in the Spellskite and the Ratchet Moms as well. So I want to bring in all of that. I think I'm just good with cutting the, the top end here. So we're going to cut the Ulamog. Okay, they just don't want me to... Okay, there it goes. Um, the Karn. Um, I think we can cut the Endbringers here. The Chalices I want to keep. All of us would be good to just wipe their board. I don't know if we're going to get to that mana really well, but if we can, that'd be really awesome. The Ballista seems really good just to take off all of their... Um, small dudes, because I believe they just have a bunch of like small dorks that they can run out. Um, <laughs> worm coils good here. Maybe we do need to cut the all dust just because it's a little bit more expensive than we want, and then we cut one smasher and bring all this in and just try to interact with them as much as possible. Um, we've got a turn to Warping Whale, we've got most of Tron, and we've got a Thought Knot. I think this is pretty good. And we've got a Chalice now too, that's pretty sweet. So let's run off the tower and we'll pass it over. Goblin guy, not that cool. Oh, it's gonna beat us up for four. Oh my gosh, they're gonna beat us up for seven. We got a spatial contortion on top. I think our 
best bet here is to just run out the chalice on one. And then next turn we can hold up a contortion or a warping wheel to just try to kill off their stuff. We're going to take five, but hopefully they just got a bunch of one drops in hand. And then we can contortion, one goblin guide, and the following turn thought knot and see if that's enough. Oh, nope, that's a bushwhacker. Is that lethal? And that will not do it. That's game. Let's run it back. If we had a uh, that chalice turn one though, would have been clutch. No lands here means we're shipping that for sure. This hand's not bad. We'll keep this. Warping Whale. Mm -mm -mm. I think that's fine. We'll keep that. Run a temple out and pass it over. Reshaper, next turn run out of Thought Knot. War Marshal. Okay, opponent. Doing your thing. Definitely blocking. And we will put that on the battlefield. We could Chalice for one, but I think getting a Thought Knot out for an additional blocker and ripping a card out of their hand first is going to be huge for us. Alright, they got a guy to bolt a bushwhacker. So let's take the bushwhacker. And we'll pass it over. Hmm, they're gonna pay that echo, okay. We're actually really cool with that, cause... Okay, if we go Chalice, they'll just smash it. If we run out of Spell Skype, they'll smash it as well, but then we get to follow up with a Chalice, so that seems fine. Pass it over. Burning tree into smash. Yep. Man, means they've got a guide and a bolt left. Well, let's chalice on one. They'll bolt us in response. Or are they gonna bolt our dude? Okay, that's fine. Pass it over. Sweet. Alright, so that's a power plant. We can chalice on two here, and that should pretty much be their deck, honestly. Um so before we do that, why don't we go ahead and exile their Mog's War Marshal. And then we're going to run out of Chalice on two. Sweet. 
Sweet. Alrighty, let's play this last match. Jeez, I normally don't check my phone like that in the middle of the stream, but kind of an issue with the work is popping out, so not the biggest thing. We can definitely take care of it later. Um, okay, so we've got a temple here into a seagate. We've got double thought now, so if we can hit another land, this hand's pretty strong. So I think the upside here is pretty high for us to keep, and we just need to hit any land by turn three. So we're just going to lead off with a temple and see what we can do. No. Crumbling Vestige, so they're on Amulet. Definitely need to hit our lands right now. A temple would be... Oh, I know. A botanical. Okay. Well, let's run out of matter reshaper. Pass it over. Was this were? Well, I am hoping for a land. Was there. What do you discard an opponent? Okay. Jukabog. Cool, cool. Let's hit them with the Thought Knot. Coalition, Coalition, Pact, and Visions. Well, let's hit your Pact. Beat them up. They should play Coalition Reddick, then I imagine the Serum Visions, and we'll hit them with another Thought Knot. Let's see if we can keep them out of this game. Unless they're just going to go for the mana generation next turn. So we could also map and go get a ghost quarter and hit them. Um, mm -mm -mm. Okay, now I think I think we're best off just doing this line. Amulet. Would be the reason they would go crazy with stuff and packed with knots. Let's get rid of that. We'll smash them for seven. on two shoot the Sakura swing in do they want to pack it 
Yeah. Sure. Don't know what they can do because I gotta pay for packed, so. Okay, that was good for us. Caverns will be relevant to get our stuff through. Crucible, I feel, is pretty good here because we can ghost quarter. They only run like three basics. Pithing needle. Spell Skite's super relevant. Warping Whale can hit Azusa and it can hit the Ancient Stirring, so I guess that's fine. Mm -mm -mm. Take out the tomb. If we can get to Ulamog mana, that's going to be sweet. I think we're okay with cutting Endbringer here. And Ballista's not the greatest in the world. So let's bring that. And I think I want to also bring in one Ratchet Bomb. No, let's bring in both Ratchet Bombs. They should be pretty sweet for us. We'll take out one matter reshaper. Okay, this hand has way too many cards with not enough lands, so let's ship it. This hand's got Tron, so we'll keep it. And a Smasher. Hopefully they don't have a crazy hand, and if they don't, we can keep up pretty well. See if they have an Azusa. They do. How many lands you got? A colony? It's fine. Simic? Sure. Let's see if you have a prime time. Ah oh, man, they got a double packed. Wow. All right, well, we'll take one and run out the Matter Reshaper. There is one Prime Daddy. Ghost Court of the Power Plant opponent. Ghost Court of the Power Plant. Do it. Do it. Do it. Or the tower. I don't even care anymore. It doesn't even matter. I mean, it's not like we can do anything, which is unfortunate. We need a more relevant threat. Oh my gosh, how did they know? How did they know? Can't swing with Primeval Titan no, unless they want to trade.
<sighs> we can crack it for the mine here for the missing piece. Um, I don't really think it's worthwhile to get the Seagate right now because we're not doing much with it. And this way we can run out the Smasher. I think we're in a block with Smasher and Shaper here. That way they can only kill the Smasher. We're at the point where it's inevitably that we're going to lose. Yeah, with the Amulet of Vigor there, that's going to be game. Unfortunate. All right, let's run that back. We got this. We got this. Finishing strong. Come on. a chalice on one which is pretty huge or we can go chalice on zero but man we are doing nothing else Ugh, I do not think that's good enough for us to keep um, hmm we'll keep this Kane's a bit odd we don't really have much going on with it but we've got a temple spirit guide and we could potentially get into a crucible lock chalice would be pretty sweet too bad we didn't have it in hand. So we'll pass it over. Alrighty. Let's run it out. We do want it on one, right, and not zero. We could take care of their packs this way. But I think we have to do it on one to just take care of stirrings and the amulet for now and then if we get another one we'll go zero hmm you're gonna ghost quarter us So pass it over. No, 
over. Not a crucible. I'll pass it over. We would be cool with a ghost quarter now. We can start trying to lock him out of the game at this point because we're not doing much else. We need to hit at least one more land in order to use these double simians for the all is us. Not really where we want to be in life. Ratchet bomb. They've got six mana now. It's not good for us. I'm feeling Titan. Titan. rough life we have. <laughs> sure. That up one. We really needed to hit that land to use all his dust. Ah, <sighs> my word. We can Pithing Needle for like a Slayer Stronghold. That's where we're at. Oh, that's this is just get countered. Not dumb. We're not dude. We're just gonna ship it. Oh my gosh. We really just wanted to hit a land. Why can't our opponent have done us a salad and ghost courted our temple so we could have uh, got a waste and then played the temple? You know, just just be a bro. another pact that means we're gonna see another Titan We're good here. They, they can pretty much just... We're, we're out of the game. Alright. Let's swap decks. I'm going to ship this away. Deck wasn't bad, though. We did pretty well the first one. That one, not so much. But we weren't that far off, honestly, in a lot of those games. So, I don't know. Um, let's return those. And let's export this deck. You really want to run that Jeskai list again? 
I can do it. I was gonna run that hate bears deck though, but uh, you are my only subscriber right now, so I will bend to the dollar. Let's see. Uh, is there any changes to that list that you would be talking about, or would it, do you want to run that exact list again? Because I still have it here. But uh, this deck that I want to run, we get to do some fun stuff. But no, nah, we will play just guy a bunch on Sunday because you'll be over. So let's let's run the hate bears deck. Actually, right, well, I've got the four. Is this still registering me as borrowing the other deck? That's crazy. Or not. This is a more expensive this deck than I gave it credit for. Alright, while that deck's loading up, I'll be right back. <laughs> 